Okay, let's wrap up model six, find a volume method overview. So after finishing this model, you should be able to select the best numerical skin according to the physics involved and the quality of the mesh. Well, there's that, but it's a lot of details, I think. Understand the difference between the simple and piezo methods, okay? Or the pressure velocity coupling. So now we know when to use simple, when to use piezo, or the piezo eta or nita. Understand also the difference between steady solvers and unsteady solvers very important okay so remember you can use a steady solver for on a steady physics okay but the results are very quest questionable I'll select the right solver according to the physics okay again link it to this <coughs> this to to this that we're talking about now a steady physics on a steady physics also select linear solvers and as we mentioned that there is no universal no best linear solver and it's very like it's likely very problem dependent and even hardware dependent on the start your linear uh, your residuals of the linear solvers and also do not take these residuals as your absolute criterion to to determine to judge if your this residual is accurate or is stable you should also monitor a quantity of interest when it comes now monitoring the solution okay besides this residuals also put a lot of monitors and those monitors were the subject of the models five okay select your runtime uh the right time step for a steady simulation so also relaxation factor for a steady but also on a steady simulation which is important and select boundary conditions in open form this and as usual, exploring the source code. So now go back to the previous models, revisit all of them, look at those dictionary, SB skin, SB solution, control dig, and hopefully now you are going to understand well what is happening. And if you have your case of your own, now you know how to set up everything. So thank you for your attention. See you next time. Bye.